has been forwarded to the voicemail for 3,166 Angelo Alvarez. No one is available to take your call. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press the pound key for more options. I'm in here. Yeah. There's me in like 1999, I think. Yeah, I think this is. I think number four is the oldest one I have. <clears throat> they didn't even staple it. <laughs> that far back, I guess. Let's see, this one is from also 1988. Yeah. When they discovered staples in the spine are our friends. You know, I, I knew since I was like 13 or 14 that I was gay. But n as far as I knew, there was no one that that I kind of could relate to. Um, and then it was like, oh, well, there are some of us. Um, but I had no idea that there were as many as I know today. Memorial Day 1990 I went to a party and there were seven of us and I remember at that point we were like well this is all seven of us in you know the Atlanta Bay Area which at the time was like about three million people and we thought well that's it we found them all <laughs> when Bear Magazine uh, started appearing at uh, for me Oxford Books which was a, a big bookstore in Atlanta and it was like, you saw this like magazine with, you know, big hairy guys in it. And, you know, and it was sort of a revelation that, oh, maybe there are more of us than I thought there were. With the classified ads, you started, even if you didn't, didn't uh, answer in the classified ads or post classified ads, you'd see that there were people in like rural Minnesota and, you know, New York City and, Places all over the country where people would, uh, you know, you could just sort of relate to. And very frequently they would also include their photos. So it was like, oh, you know, these, these the kinds of men that I'm interested in talking to um, live all over the country. And that was sort of the beginning of when I started finding out about it. You're just curious to see who's out there, you know. And because you you had to pay uh, for your ads based on the length of the ads, there were a lot of codes that you would use to keep things short. A gay white male would be GWM, gay black male would be GBM, um, A for active or P for passive. People would try to keep keep these ads as short as possible. Straight people don't seem to have a problem having options as far as people to meet. They can just go anywhere and meet people. I mean, there are people, there are single people at their office. There are single people at the coffee shop. There are, you know, um, you know, if you like someone, then you just start dating. With the gay community, of course, if you subscribe to the belief that we're like 5 to 10% of the population, that means there's far fewer people. And so your dating pool is a lot less. And so you have to go to very, very specific places to meet, to increase your chances of meeting someone who could be a partner.
bearded, tall, dark, handsome. 39 years old, 6 foot, 170 pounds. Prefer bearded, very hairy men. I'm romantic, loving, versatile, spiritual. Send picture, 601 Minnesota Street, number 217, San Francisco, California, 94107. Bear Magazine, issue 14, 1990. We um, met through an, a magazine, and this magazine was called Chiron Rising. There it is. Yep, there it is. God, I forgot about this. I didn't have any qualms about a naked picture of me, and I was surprised how thin I was then. I don't think I would have been able to say at the time that Thomas met any kind of stereotype of guys that I was attracted to, but I was clearly attracted to that picture of him. But I, yeah, I think there's always going to be an outside something or other where gay people will meet or try to meet through. I'm glad we had the opportunity. I mean, I'm super glad that we met through that. I mean, who'd have thunk it? Hot masculine daddy bear, good looking, six foot three, two hundred thirty five pounds. Cover bear issue nine. I'm interested in a man who is hairy, bearded, loves to laugh, likes the outdoors, beach, good food, and company. He appreciates art and writing and enjoys endowed bears like himself. He also enjoys tip play, massage, intimate holding, sucking, pissing, and ball play. Safe sex. Clean and sober. Collect classic cars. I enjoy camping in the North Coast Redwoods. All letters get a reply. Write John Perry, 955 Ashbury Street, number 24, San Francisco, California, 94117. Bear Magazine, issue 9, 1989. It was a way to allow myself to think that I was connecting with other gay people in other places. I didn't feel so um, alone or isolated and it was probably the most human part of the magazine. Personals were the like, like the person you might meet, the, the person you may have sex with, or the person you might have a relationship with at some point, or the, the person who could change your life. It's like you're seeing your people, you're finding your people. Watching a TV show is nice and you can empathize with people, but when you see yourself in that TV show, it pulls you in a lot stronger. And for me, seeing myself in pornography was like I had been accepted, you know, by a sexual thing. And that was very, very powerful and super alluring. Men want to have sex with other men 
and they will find a way to communicate. They will wear things in a certain way. They'll decorate stuff in a certain way. I mean, it's the thing of not just to hook up for sex, but you want to find yourself and you want to see yourself in other people and you don't want to feel so isolated or alone. The personal ads was a way for anyone buying or coming across one of these magazines to see that they weren't isolated and that there was that representation in every other state and in other countries and such. In the end, the, the personals are the most important part of those kind of magazines.